All right, my people. Um, I just want to share something with you that I found um, just the just the, the other day. Anyway, by accident, but it's something that's been happening for quite a while. But I only just discovered it just a couple of days ago. And, um, and what I found is for us in Sierra Leone, we did work on Sierra Leone. We see a fan. Now this is what they call Gramantin. When I say that, you know, call it Gramantin. I think um, uh, a, um, in English, then they use the word, they say tiger nuts uh, in place like a uh, Ghana and so they call it tiger nuts. And by the way, I'm licking my Afi's hat by here, um, right here, by the way, United Africa. But I want to share this with you because it's so healthy. I find this Gramantin so healthy and which I actually begin for discover for do with them. What you find now is simply this. Uh, I able for make the gramantine into milk, but I will show you very soon what in that means. But first of all, what I did try for do today, I make I did try for mix this whole thing together for make this rich, wonderful drink. First, I did mix it with linseed. Make I just um, for some of you now we not gonna know linseed. This is linseed, okay? So I mix out linseed. Then first I did, I'm going to use this, which is moss. Some people will say Irish moss and so on, but this is moss, okay? Very, very, very nutritious, um, full of so much, much richness and goodness to it. And we have this a lot in Sierra Leone as well, by the way, okay? Now, so what I can do now, I can boil me some of my linseed with inside the pot right now. I can boil some of the linseed. Then I can boil them together with this moss. And what you do with the moss first, you do, um, sometimes you get for soak the moss properly first. I get me lily rubber bowl now, so you put it inside. You just soak and small wash them, soak them, wash them very nicely. How we do so? Soak them, you wash them, and then later on you boil. So just uh, one second. Okay. So once you once you don't soak the um, the moss, soak them one, fine one. You put them in the expand. You know, if you look at them, you go see seeing just like a there seaweed we will get now. Forget not to sow. That's exactly it. So that's seaweed day. Now we saw one of the one them we are uh, get some plenty in a beach. That's it. That's a leon. Put it inside the pot because you do wash some so that you go pull any possible sand sand where you go dip and all that. So, um, then we don't don't um do them this way. You don't do wash some fine. You put it in your pot like this, and um, basically, there's only one more thing left for you to do after you put it inside here um you're going to have to put some water in it and leave it to boil okay now so the um our uh, uh moss is now boiled let me bring it forward so you can see right so you can see exactly what's happening there can you i'm not quite sure can you let me bring it over again so you can see it basically it's steaming all the thing now but the um, moss has nicely boiled in here with this, and I'm going to leave it to cool down a little bit. Right, so now the moss is now nicely boiled right here in the pot. I'll bring it forward so that you can see. I'll turn it towards the light. You can see it's boiled very, very nicely like this um, over here. Really nice. So what I'm going to do is just leave it to cool down a little bit. And then I will work on the other stuff to blending it. Okay, join me back in a second. All right, folks. So now my um, moss is all cooled down a little bit. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pour all the moss inside this. And then I'm going to, literally, I am going to boil it. I'm sorry, not boil. I am going to actually... And blend it all nicely together, okay, with the linseed. Put that right over there, and I'm going to boil it. <laughs> boil again. I'm going to blend it all nicely. Now, usually, what I do when I blend it like this, sometimes I like to put honey in it, okay, just to make it, you know, just a little bit more spicy, so I can mix it with many, many different things. So it's, it's not just bland. So what I'm going to do, one second, let me get my honey. Right. So usually I come with good pure honey from Sierra Leone, literally from the honey tree or honey, whatever they call it, <laughs> right into my bottle here. And I usually buy this for Unawe Kumasalu, I can buy this being Fadugu, that I always can go buy this on the village. So I always like for put a little bit honey inside. They just, you know, forget a little bit sweet and honey, as we all know, 
a very healthy as well. But just get a little bit sweet no more. Okay? Now this now because I did make this one separate um, so that I will use them for do for put up plenty other things in. So every morning I'll oh, make me smoothie, me fruit drinks them. I can just take this way don't cool down. I can just take them, put them inside it, blend them together. Okay? So that's why they put honey inside there as well. Alright, so now with that, uh make a cover up now. Look, I'm tight. I'm really tight. Put this on and literally it's gonna blend. It will blend until they actually blend, um, really, really blend proper, 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 proper one. Very nice, smooth. <coughs> right. Still blending, very blending, and can do my exercise. <coughs> Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Now that's enough for now. Okay. So now I've got it nicely blend. Um, it's really, really smooth. Um, the way it is right now, it's still very warm, uh, but at least it's cool enough. Okay. So now what I'll do after I've done it, blend it like this. I usually can just take them, I can just take them like so, I put them inside, nice rubber bowl like this one, um, mm, actually smells very very nice, I can just put them inside a rubber bowl like this one, make it cool down, you know, um, put them inside a bowl like this, but now, what I can do now, uh, is, First of all, let me let me test them first. Make us see how we do. Test them first. Mmm, mmm. The richness in this is just amazing. All right, but now there's another thing else I'm coming to do. So give me one moment. All right. Now, the next thing I want to now introduce to you is my gramantine. With the gramantine, um. This is tiger nuts for those of you who maybe don't know it. This is tiger nuts, okay? Um, tiger nuts is very, very nutritious. And I'm only discovering this in a way now, but as a child, we used to eat a lot of gramatine. Um, you know, it's grass basically, but you know, the grass has some um, nuts right at the bottom, like you have ground nuts or peanuts. So what I do is I soak it like this overnight and after you soak it it literally just uh really it, it just absorbs all the water and then literally grows inside it swells up so what i do i blend it um i blend it in a in the blender like this and um you can see i've put it there but i'm going to reduce some of the water give me a moment yeah Okay, um, so what I'm trying to make here is make some gramantine milk. Okay, so I'll blend it. Uh, um, um, I'm gonna blend it right here um, for a moment, and then <coughs> once I'm done. And sometimes what I also what I also do when I'm blending it, I like to put a little bit of uh, peanuts, granats. I will put some granats inside it, or just any nuts basically. Um, put a little bit of granite inside there so that also is nice um i blend that one not like these ones here for example i've got uh some pistachios some which we call whitman banga nuts and all that stuff sometimes i put it put in there it's just to give it a little bit more richness to it and then once i've done that i'm now going to blend it all again together blend all of these together nicely so lots of blending happening in here, but believe me, it is worth every effort. It's worth every time you put to blending and making this together. You can really put many, many different things um, to it as well. And very soon I'll show you some other things that I, that I usually would add to it, okay? Well, let me blend all these nuts together. This is all right? Now you can see it's already looking like milk. You see, it's already turning nice. Creamy milk. Now 
and you're getting uh, some of the secrets behind the Tao Footprints energy. All right. Okay. All right. Usually, once I finish blending it like this, um, I take it out basically and then um, open it again. And what I'm going to do basically, you can see it's now all very, very milky. If I want, I can add a bit more water to it. In fact, I'm going to add more water to it just to help um, give it a little bit more, you know, more milk basically. Um, Right, so I've added a little bit of water to it as well. And now what I'm going to do, because I don't have a fine sieve, this is what they've taught me when I was growing up. I put a little bit of cloth like this on top of a bowl, and then I'm going to cover and hold onto the cloth so that it doesn't really fall off. Now, maybe somebody has a better way of doing it or so on. If you do, please share with me. But then what I do, I pour everything inside here I pour everything inside, um, you can see, I don't want it to throw, fall over, but literally I pour it in like that, so that, um, and the reason why I do that is just to sieve all the, the chaff because the, um, the, the, the gramatine is very fine when you've blended it like this, and so if you're not careful, all you're going to end up drinking is just a lot of chaff and that's not the best thing at all. You see, it's not nice. All right, so give me a moment while I do this and um, sieve it through. Basically, the um, a lot of the the fine chaff has blocked a lot all the areas where the 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 water should go through. So give me a moment. Trust me. Check me out. Making my gramantine milk. All right, wearing my Afiz hat. Africa United United Africa hat <laughs> Now so now once I've done it like this Let me put it down. I mean you can add as much water to make it as thin or as thick as you wish to make it It's up to you what you want. Oops. My my thing is um, my bowl is falling over Now so basically what I've put is a lot 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 lot. It's a lot more it's a lot now so what I usually do is I squeeze it like this this is my own method <laughs> but I squeeze it hard so that all the juice literally just squeezes out now make sure your cloth is clean by the way okay please don't use any dirty cloth and make this stuff unhealthy and wash your hands too <clears throat> all right now once I've done that now what I'm left with it's a really smooth, very, very smooth, um, milky looking type of drink now. And now I come to the next phase. And now for the next phase, what I do, I now take my Gramanti milk. I pour it all in here. So there's a lot of it there. Um, again, you can make it as thick, as light as you want. It's entirely up to you. But while what, I, what I do now, I put banana in it now. Now I'm going to give it now some of the nice, lovely juices, juicy, lovely bits now. God, banana in England sometimes, eh? Goodness me. Can you imagine if you're putting banana from Sierra Leone into this, how nice it will be? But I also put apple as well. And apple a day, and apple a day. Ah, give me a moment. So I've got my apple nicely washed uh, by the way before it goes in here. So this is what I'm doing. I'm mixing it all together, mixing my fruits and this lovely, 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 um, you know, milky um, gramatin or tiger nuts here. Um, all of these give it nice taste, you know, at the end of the day. Um, very, very healthy. And now after that, I even put in some blueberries i love blueberries lovely vitamin c you know very very strong antioxidant nice so you know i mix that in there and now 
And now here's the clinch. Now I will take a bit of my nicely made moss with honey. And then what I'll do, I will pour some of my moss in here. I will put some of my moss in there. You can see it feels very, very slippery. Very, very, I don't want to pour it actually, because I'm, I'm worried that if I pour it, it might just not, um, but I want to put quite a healthy sum in there so that once I mix it together and I keep it in the fridge, it will be really, really cool, chilled and nice. So, now by the way, um, you know, these days we are fed with so much chemicals and we are picking up things that we shouldn't be picking up. Mm, mm, this is nice. So you might remember this, I've got my a bit of honey in there, but what I'm going to do, I am going to add a little bit more honey because I like a little bit of sweet and I like a bit of honey. So I'm going to add a little bit of honey in it, if that is okay with you all. Add a little bit more. That's me just liking it a little bit more sweet. All right. Now, once that is done, basically I am set and all I'm going to do now is um, cover it again. Cover it here with my cover it and then I'm going to blend it one more time I'm gonna blend everything to the, the banana and everything and like I say you can put any fruits you want in there and keep your body healthy so here we go Right, so we are ready now. Okay, it's all blended together very nicely. Looks in very, very milky. It's very nice. Um, now let me take it off. And now we are ready to have a drink. Let me see what it tastes like. Mm, smells really banana fruity and everything. Now let me pour it out here. You can see how it pours out. Now I'm going to try a bit and see what it's like. Oh my days, this is divine. This is divine. Um, no animal stuff on it at all. Absolutely pure vegetables and nuts and so on. Just absolutely divine. Truly, truly healthy. Well, I am the Cow Food Prince. And by the way, for anyone of you, if you want, you want to watch my new movie out called The Cow Food Prince, inbox me if you want to see it and inbox me if you like all of this one. All the best. Enjoy.